Okay, so let's take a look at this question. So we have a triangle here, and we see it says it's an isosceles triangle. So from geometry, we know that that means the two triangles have, or sorry, the, the triangle has two equal sides. Um, so we can just indicate that by um, a tick mark there. And we also know that the base is 2x plus 14, and we know that there's a vertical height in the triangle that is equal to the value of x. Okay, so to solve for this, um, we do know the area. So we know from our equation that area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Um, and that whole thing is equal to 228. So we do know the base of the triangle. It is just simply 2x plus 14. Um, the height is x. We divide all that by two and make that equal to 228. That will give us an equation where we can solve uh, for x. So again, this will be a quadratic equation. Um, when we pull it apart, um, we can bring the two over to the top here. Um, we should get 2x squared plus 14x um, is equal to 2 times 228, which is 456. Um, and then put it in standard form, we should have um, this quadratic equation. So again, you can factor this, uh, take out a common, greatest common factor. Um, you could use the graphing tool Desmos to figure out what the x values are or the quadratic formula, um, and that should give you a solution for x. But what we're asked to find here is we're determined to find the length of the two equal sides. So what we're really looking to find here is um, how long are the sides of the triangle. So the other thing we need to recognize here is that that isosceles triangle is made up of a right angle triangle, um, two of them stuck together. So I'm just gonna draw one here where we're just gonna take it out. Um, we know the height of this triangle is going to be x because that is um, the value that um, it tells us in the question. We also know the base of that right angle triangle. It is going to be one half of the 2x plus 14, the total base. Okay, so that means this is 2x plus 14, but we divide it all by 2, which is going to give us x plus 7. So with that, if we knew what the value of x was, we should be able to calculate um, the length, or what in this case would just be the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So we could label this with the traditional variables here. The hypotenuse is C, um, the legs are A, and um, this is also B here. So we would know that the, um, the hypotenuse is equal to A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Okay, so the, the trick here first is that we need to calculate what x is, and then we can figure out the lengths of x by plugging them back into our diagram. We, that will give us the value for a squared, and then that will also give us the value for b squared. And then once we calculate those, we can then generate the value of c, which we just um, square them and take sum them and then take the square root. Okay, so that's how we set this question up. I'm just going to leave that the rest of you to to uh, just figure out the math for it. So step one, solve for x in the quadratic equation. Step two, um, go into the right angle triangle, substitute in the values for x, and then complete, and then solve for the hypotenuse.